Hi everybody and welcome back to The Upper Room. And Merry Christmas. This week we're talking about the story of Christmas. Christmas is about family. In particular, the Holy Family. And to help me explain this is my family. Uh, hi. Our story begins in Nazareth. Joseph and Mary are living in Nazareth and Caesar called a census for all of his subjects that live in his kingdom. Joseph was born in Bethlehem, so they had to travel back to Bethlehem where Joseph was born to register for the census. They had to travel 60 miles on the back of a donkey, and Mary was nine months pregnant. Upon arriving to Bethlehem, there were so many rooms taken at the inn because so many people were traveling back there for the census that there was no room. The innkeeper offered Joseph and Mary a place to stay in the manger, and here is where God became man and came into the world. Here is where Jesus was born. Above the manger was a bright star. The Magi were men who studied the stars, and their prophecy was about a king being born under a bright star, which we call the Star of Bethlehem. Because the Magi knew they were going to meet a king, they, be, they, they came bearing gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Which is why we give gifts to others on Christmas. Just as the Magi followed the light of the star to welcome the light of the world, our God, who became man, calls us to become a light in the world as well. One of those lights whom we all know and love is St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas was the Bishop of Myra. He's the patron saint of children, sailors, and prisoners. St. Nicholas's parents were married for 30 years before they were blessed with St. Nicholas. As St. Nicholas became a young boy, the plague hit the town where he and his parents were living and his parents died. Nicholas went to live with his uncle at a nearby abbey. There his religious life began, where he learned philosophy, theology, and other religious studies. St. Nicholas has many miracles surrounding his life, including healings and being outspoken in his faith. He was in prison for his faith and, to and was tortured through all of these sufferings. St. Nicholas still professed the goodness of Jesus Christ. St. Nicholas was known for giving to the needy, secretly without taking any credit for what he gave. He was left a large inheritance from his parents and gave all of it away to the poor. In one instance, he learned of a poor man in town that had three daughters. The man had no money to provide a dowry for his daughters to be married. Without a daughter, without a dowry for each daughter, his girls would have eventually been sold into slavery. St. Nicholas then took matters into his own hands. He made up some bags of gold from his inheritance and tossed it in the window of the man's house. The bag of gold landed in a stocking that was hung by the fireplace to dry which is why we put gifts in stockings or shoes for Christmas. After each daughter was wed, the father decided to try to catch the person who was leaving money to provide a dowry for his daughters. St. Nicholas threw money in the window one last time and the man caught him to thank him. St. Nicholas ran away yelling, thank God, not me. St. Nicholas became a bishop and was on the Council of Nicaea and is partially responsible for the Nicene Creed that we all recite every Sunday during Mass. It is because of St. Nicholas, Nicholas's greatest acts of charity and the story of the gold landing in the stocking that we stuff our stockings on Christmas because St. Nick once said, Don't thank me, thank God. Because, because it's, it's not, not about, about getting, getting, it's, it's about, about giving! giving. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. Thanks again for watching Upper Room. See you again next year. I'm forgiving to the need. <laughs> because, because it's not about getting, getting it's, it's about, about giving. giving. All know and love. Is Saint Nicholas. Mm. <laughs> On video! This is going live!